happened was people, when, when Fallout came out, when 76 came out, uh, you would load into, you know, it's supposed to be like MMOE, um, and you would just automatically, without even knowing it, be sending out your audio constantly. No push to talk or anything. And so you would hear people's like music and dogs barking as their characters would get close to you. You'd like hear their breathing and stuff. It was really off-putting. <laughs> That's worse. And I mean, then they said camera... it was on purpose. I think they backtracked what? on that hard, though. Yeah. They have made such bad decisions recently, Bethesda. I, they're just not the same company as they once were. So disappointing. It's, it's yeah, it's a weird thing in gaming right now. Like, all the companies that I, I kind of grew up loving have, have really just... <laughs> the bed. God damn it, <laughs> Blizzard. God. I gotta get me one of them bleepers. <laughs> Dude, you gotta have one of these things. Like, we, me and Wasted were talking about it the other day, and it's just a whole nother ball game, man. It's like another... Waste is, Waste is the one who got it, uh, get, turned you on to that, right? Was he the I one turned that... him on to it. I got him really? to buy a piece oh. of tech. Mm. That's weird, man. It, That's I know. backwards. <laughs> That's very backwards. It's super backwards. Um, oh, hey, let me, so let me do you... the announcement on Discord, because I'm bad. Did Are you, you streaming? You gonna stream? I could, but did you add me back, by the way? Yeah, I added you first. It's weird. I don't see that you're online. It's morphologist, just as it's spelled in Discord, right? That's what you added? It said you're online and everything. Okay, so then issue for me is... Okay, is your name for sure Captain Shack No Spaces? Maybe no. Maybe it's not. It might not be. Which, oh, shoot. Yeah, it might not be. Maybe it's like Shack or something. I don't know. Can you check for me quick? Let me know what your name is. I would love to. How do I do that? Like, can I do that in-game? <laughs> I think you'd have to check from your RSI account. It might be the only way to see quick. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Otherwise, I all could right. join the US server and you can join on me and we'll just meet at Porto. All right, all right, all right, hang on. I'll see you in the server and I can add you that way. Let me check my thing. Uh, right. So, uh, so RSI, do do do. Good morning, everyone. Early morning stream. Actually, not that I slept in. Little impromptu stream. Yeah. Uh, gonna be a long. Uh, is it my account you know name? Just... Yeah, it's Captain Shack, check, man. man. It's it's no it's no, there's no spaces or anything. It's just Captain Shack. Weird. Captain Shack, no space, capital C, capital S. The full the full captain, by the way. Hey, Ledgener, thank you so much for that tier one. Appreciate it. Bolting will do sir. Welcome to the fleet. Oh, we're gonna be checking out my Carrick today, everybody. My Carrick should be pretty epic. Mine. Mine. Um. All right. So let me join with me. Okay. I'm gonna call you. So Discord you is completely having a fit right now. Discord is. Yeah. I'm gonna do a call for you. Okay. Sure. Da, 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 da. How's everybody doing this morning? The, what's going on with Discord? Is it what's, what's hey, you're going roboty, like really roboty? And the last time we this happened, uh, I think we were playing tabletop sim actually. Me and me and the crew, um, we just did private call and it seemed to fix it. All right, that's really weird. I've never had that happen on my end. Hmm. Added your crazy All ping. Right. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, all right. I just started my uh, my streaming rig, but I don't uh, know. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream on my end. Um, just kind of want to hang out. There we go. Did Captain get, Shack has invited you, you to his party. Did I did, and that that's. Thing? I cool. definitely added the right name, so I probably just had to restart my client to get that to show up right. Probably. Oh, I got to make a character. Oh, yeah, it really it really wiped everything, didn't it? I thought it would just copy my character from. No, all it did was copy your account information. That's it. Right, 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 right. All right. Oh, uh, let me make a character, everybody. But they're weird character creator. You know what? I'll host you. I'll do it that way. What are we doing? Let people know. 
I'm going to host you. So I don't think I'm going to stream right now. It's a, it's a little, I'm not going to be able to go for like a couple hours. I'll probably only be able to go for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, uh, I'm, just I, just wanna see the, I just want to see the Carrick. I wasn't planning on streaming this morning, but but when you messaged me about this, I was like, all right, I can do it. Where do you want to start? Where should I um, well, pop into? Port I'll start. Cl click on Porto. It'll be Port the easiest way to get into the Carrick, yeah. Are you in a game right now? I am. I'm a, join off me. I'm in the U.S. server. I joined okay. for, uh, on a U.S. server for you. Okay, cool. Z4L74N, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. Just woke up and groggy as hell. We had a late night streaming last night. We did Space Engineers yesterday. And then oh, World Warships here on Twitch. To? Uh, we did a race to the bottom. So we raced from the North Pole to the South Pole. Um, well, I was, it was, it's like an asymmetrical race, right? So I built a glider. Wasted got to spawn in a vehicle. He spawned in the spider. Um... And then Splitzy had to fly from the Titan moon, uh, from Titan to the pole. And he had to build a large grid ship to do it. So he had to do like the whole base of operations where we were just like cruising. Um, and it came down to the last maybe six or seven minutes of who would have won. Like it was really down to the wire. All right. I'm here. I'm in. You are. Excellent. Um... So, I actually already have mine pulled. Uh, it looks like you're on the opposite side of me, though. So, why don't you just go ahead and pull your Karak? I'll come over to you. Cool. Sounds good. I have to remember how to play. Ooh, man. FPS drop. What's going on there? Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, you getting any, any FPS hitches? Because I am definitely. Not really, no. Hmm. Bizarre. Not getting any. All Three right. frames are... Or a little low because I'm in on the. Oh, there it service, is! But... My ship! It's in the thing! I've owned this thing for years. Retrieved. Years of it just sitting in my. In my... All places are currently full. People are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to leave my Carrick on the pad. I'm in a queue. <laughs> yeah, it just. The, oh wow they just just kicked my and okay all right there goes my arrow so that was cool um it remembered that i'd parked my arrow on my carrick and when i spawned it just now it spawned with the arrow in the carrick cool but then what was this about it kicked it uh the there's a weird issue with the landing gear right now where the physics doesn't quite know what to do and it just kind of like does a little hippity hop back and forth but uh yeah it's kind of the biggest issue right now oh because there's a hammerhead on on your uh, pad hopefully the guy moves the hammerhead quickly if he doesn't though i've got a i've got a carrick up on the uh, other pad on the opposite side you have to fly outside though for that indeed come on dude oh you're in indeed hammerhead. and so we wait All right, it's not tracking my facial movements without asking me this time. That's nice. Suit's pretty. Oh, details. Hey, Arctic, what's up, man? Good morning. Hey, Jack. We've got to take a look at the character today. Yep. Yeah, it looks like whoever's pulled this uh, hammerhead has been so kind as to not actually fly it. Steal it. Um, so, it's going to be Steal locked. It. Uh, it run there's no it. way I can move it. Yeah. <laughs> well, aren't, don't you have a hammerhead, or a hammerhead, a Carrick sitting on the pad right now? Uh, it's been recalled, I guess, already. Wow, that was fast. Why is this thing still sitting here then? If mine's good. I, I would give it, give it a minute. Um, yep. It should it should automatically store this guy's vehicle because it's been on the pad for too long. They reduced the timers pretty substantially because there was this issue. There's this issue every time a new ship comes out is that people come in, they pull their ships out, then they log off. And before, it wouldn't despawn ships, so all the pads would be taken. So they fixed that a while back. I'm not sure what the timers are now. Hopefully they're quick. Yeah, it's inaccessible. Yeah, it keeps telling me that all of the landing areas are currently full, so... Just giving it a second. Walking around. Hey, James. 
believe someone just stole my Kirk. That's why my Kirk's off the pad. Okay, cool. <laughs> I left my <laughs> hangar bay open. Oh, man. Well, should be a pad free now. On the other side. Oh, sup. All right, this guy took off. So your Kirk should be spawning right about now. All right, the following landing pad. Excellent. What landing pad zero, would that zero. be? Uh, zero zero is just yeah. yeah I come see, towards I my icon. Can you see my icon? No, I got, I got. There's signs. Use the signs. Just making sure you know. I know where I'm I going. Know. This isn't my first space rodeo. All right, sir. All right, let's go. Especially not in this damn jig. station, man. My Kirk. I'm excited. I await your arrival with great anticipation. Here comes the epic reveal. I love that it's janking out right now really hard. <laughs> oh, there it is. Start Citizen, don't ever change. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, so it's just got a little, a little bit of an issue there. A little bit, a little bit. Just like 40 tons of spaceship doing a little jig. All right, let's hey, go man. on over to the... What's going on? Let's go on over to the front of the ship. I'll show you how to get on yeah, to your how beautiful... how do you even board this epic monstrosity? So there's only one entry uh, when it's landed on the ground. It's the, the bay in the front. The... Uh, the vehicle bay here. So they don't have like a, a traditional, like what you've seen in other ships, uh, an elevator that comes down or something. Yeah, it's, get the, it's got the forward like, like firefly ramp. Look at that. <sighs> Giving it a little show. You seen it shimmy in yours? Oh yeah, no, this is it's shimmying. There's an okay. issue with the landing gear. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's one of the, so one of the vehicle bay for two about. vehicles. I'm going to close the door. Are you in? I'm in. You're right. desynced for me. I can't see where you are. Awesome. Yeah, I'm next to you. Yeah, I'm watching your stream so I can actually see what you're looking at. Yeah. So I'm on board. So yeah, we could fit two vehicles in here. Swimming pool. I like it. Now, this was the ship. When you were streaming this uh, the other day, this Carrick, mm -hmm. I was thinking, man, this is this is straight up like the as close as you're gonna get to the Normandy, right? Like this thing is the classic sci-fi adventure ship. Oh man! Follow me, sir. We're gonna take the Jeffrey's tube to the top deck so that we can take this thing off the pad before it gets cold. Is it because the power's out right now? Uh, no. There's just a really fast way to get to the top deck. Oh. You don't have turbo lifts in this thing? No, there are. It just it just takes a, a second longer. I also ah, really like the Jeffries too. I like that There's they an exist. Elevator right next to it that works. Yeah. So actually, if you look at this uh, right next to the right out next to the Jeffries tube, you can mm -hmm. see call elevator, and uh, then Ooh. like the buttons actually on the um, elevator itself. Those are actual. Uh, are the lights flickering on like, and off for you? In... No, they're not actually. The the ship is still doing a jig, so I'm gonna actually take us up a little bit and get us out of. Eh. Before it explodes. Pad. Sounds good. I'll uh, I'll head to the I'll head toward you. Are those escape pods? Yes, they are. Ah, oh, the bridge. The first time walking on the bridge. I'm gonna just park us off to the side, then I'm gonna give you the helm. So we're on the upper command bridge, uh, but the lower uh, the lower deck Please of the bridge is uh, where you probably want to more regularly pilot it from. This works fine. I just I don't know. The seat seems better. We got more screen readouts on have you, so. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. The bridge is very open. It is. Well, this is the this is the upper bridge, so we got to go down to the lower deck here, uh, just below here. Come on and step onto the elevator with me. Through spaces. Yep. So and you still can't see me? This is probably going to be your, your navigation crew. Down, please. 
Oh, upper bridge, lower bridge, it shows it. So this is the UI stuff you were talking about, where they're actually yeah, showing it for everyone system. now. Everybody can see that now. So if you like press a button or you change ship systems in the future, you're gonna be able to actually see that happening real time. On a, you don't have to be in a seat. So it's, uh, it's all on the server instead of uh, letting your local client. So, so now here, the Sorry, separated split bridge. Yep. So you got the the upper command bridge, or where you can you have your nav guys, um, and I guess the captain could be standing up there actually commanding, and then your pilot would be here, oh, uh, and then you'd have people also in charge of uh, ship systems on either side. Okay. It's pretty neat. I mean, like, yeah, it's got some pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I I like the way it looks. It's interesting. It's definitely different than what we've seen before in Star Citizen. I'm I'm I think it'll make a lot more sense uh, once they show us how that that, that hollow that hollow map works upstairs uh, and yeah. how useful that's going to be as a captain to like have a good situational awareness of the battlefield. Oh, I'm looking at thruster placement right now. So there's your downward thrust, everybody. Are so those detachable to... cargo containers at the bottom? Yes, they are. So one of the features of the of the of the carrot is this modularity, and those those uh, three cargo containers on the bottom are detachable and deployable. Uh, they want to have you ha be able to actually replace those with other types of systems. Uh, so if you wanted to specialize your carrot in some other type of uh, gameplay in Star Citizen, you could swap those out, or you just use them for like deploying, oh, oh, say, oh. mineables or so. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah, for sure. I'm just playing with the landing gear right now in the rotating wing sections. Uh, oh, yeah, it uses cool. the it uses the uh, the arms as as landing gear spots. So how many turrets? We got one, two, three, and then bolt turret in the bottom four. Nice. Yep. Large and, uh, ramp so for vehicles. They're Hanging size the five top. turrets, so each of them have four size four guns on them. So they're actually pretty nice. They're pretty beefy. Oh man. It's fantastic. All right, let's see that. Let's do the tour. Uh, what is this thing in, in, in right below us? What is this? This looks like this is a thing. This is an avionics access, access panel. So one of the one of the modules that you might need to repair or change or tweak will be accessible through this panel uh, once those have become physicalized. Uh, that's coming shortly. Uh, they want to make it so that uh, th when these systems are physicalized, that's when we can do things like replace, re uh, repair, tweak. And then they can also be damaged by uh, people attacking the ship. So specific systems mm -hmm. uh, could be targeted as opposed to just blowing you up, which is going to make uh, combat a lot more interesting for, say, like bounty hunting or being uh, like a kind of like the law. Oh, yeah. Like a deputy. Oh, man. And they've got working. They got the working panels for like maintenance and stuff here, which I and then actually close. This thing's a jack of all trades, so it actually also has servers, and these servers aren't just for looks. These are going to actually have a purpose. So, for example, you could uh, swap out some of the blades in here to give you AI turret control. Uh, you could actually run data, and data mining and running is going to be something that's uh, going to play a role in Star Citizen. I'm, they haven't really gone into too much detail on... Yeah, but they've already you know, got ships up detail. for sale that are like, this is a data runner for, for encrypted information or something like that. Yeah, well, I forgot what it's called, though, but interesting. Yeah, interesting. Data no, yeah. It's, that's what it that's is. Actually, well, what's the ship, though? What's the ship called for the data runner? Um, there's uh, there's actually a few of them. The Mercury Star Runner is one of them by Crusader, and then you have the Drake. It's uh, the Drake one, I'm thinking, with the, the bladed the like, big wing, an, right? Basically an engine. An engine no, with no, a cockpit. No, it's engine with a cockpit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. Oh, what have we got here? Another access panel? No, this looks like storage. Avionics. More avionics. It's, uh, stuff. Sorry, not avionics uh, radar. Gotcha. This is radar. So, you, like, for like, and one of those other systems, oh, you're going to want to have that uh, close hand if you need to repair it. Okay. It's a very strange split bridge. That I'm real curious about that um, that hollow table up top. If you're going to be able to do, like, command stuff for a fleet or something, because it's really weird to have your crew split between two deck levels. This is the main. For your, your main bridge. Where are we going? Lead on. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go aft. Move towards the stern of this fine vessel. And there are just two and decks, our first right? Up will be uh, no. There are three decks. Three Four three actually, decks. if you count the cartography deck. So here we are in the captain's, captain's quarters, which office quarters. Okay. Kind of like it's right off uh, the bridge. Kind of like a captain's ready room. These are yours, captain. 
I already got my coffee cup. Excellent. I don't really need the ashtray, but oh, it didn't slide forward. Oh, speaking of which, as long as we don't go outside, I should be safe. Give me a second. I've got actually testing some uniforms out for uh, doing like a little bit of an RP series or something. Oh, you actually found some. You said you were looking. I didn't know you actually. Yeah, I did. Just give me one. So I'm going to pop All it right. on. I'll poke around here. Yeah, take a look at the, your 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 captain's quarters and your own personal head and what have you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when we can actually remove all these decorative things and change it the way we want. Oh, yeah. You know, sure. like, like I like that they do what they do, the decorations and all that, but honestly, I'm not here to enjoy someone else's vibe. I want to set up my own captain's ready room. Storage and a bunk. Is this the captain's bunk? Yeah. I mean, I guess you it is. I, yeah, you get, you get a private shower. All right. I've been spoiled, man. That's what it is. I've been spoiled being on the uh, on the luxury liner. Every time we've played, we've been in that um, that capital ship. But there we go. Have got you a science uniform on? Yeah, science. All right, let me let me come over there. And then you've got your uh, your suit access, your locker for storage, probably your weapons and gear. Nice. Oh, uh, okay. Be yeah. Storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hair clips through the helmet, but yeah. No, I shouldn't be wearing my helmet. That's a weird problem. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Another bug. Cool. No worries. Uh, this this bulkhead right here looks like it it could be opened or removed or something. Well, actually, just adjacent to here um is the mess hall. Interesting. So we step out back into the corridor. We can so move now into the mess. That's the room you get told to go to when you screw up. That's where you get shoot out by command. Here's the, all right, yeah, mess hall. I see a lot of drinks in there. Let's see if I can fix that helmet issue. I like the, the uniform idea though, good. Oh wow, what is this? Can I open it? No, not yet. Very alien. Thank you, Reaper. Yep. Ah, that's like a very Reaper, or uh, very alien scene here. Mm. Tell me now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shaq, can you see me without my helmet on? Wow, your hair is just epic pompadour thing you got going on here. I like it. <laughs> yeah, helmet's off now. There we go. Helmet's excellent, off excellent. now. You're looking good. All right. Fantastic. So we've seen so where the grub is had. Now we can move actually to uh, the relaxation area for the crew. Okay. And you take some uh, some rack time, uh, take it easy, and uh, you know. The door doesn't open for me. Play some space pool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there it goes. Step back for a minute and go. You have auto already. doors. Not auto dooring. What in the world kind of pool table is this? It's hard mode. Star Citizen hard mode pool. Can't wait till we can actually play this though. It'll be fun. Yeah, man. I'm guessing this is going to be one of those things that you can like swap out for other stuff. I would, uh, I would hope so. You know, like yeah. there's, there's like an upgradable module in here that you can change out. But having a pool table in here, I'd play some pool. Anybody who watched me play Rebel Galaxies, Rebel Galaxy Two, um, yeah, I played pool all day long in that game. Fun. I would get a normal pool table though. Ah, oh, crew quarters. Yeah. Gotcha. Crew quarters. Yeah. Um, they've got. It's actually pretty nicely oh, sized. Storage, uh, they've got yeah. their own storage units. Um, like you said, physicalized storage is coming soon to Star Citizen. That was actually supposed to be out already, but uh, I guess they want to do a bit more with it before they release it. Um, get your own. Yeah. Arctic, own you're not wrong. I would prefer a nice table for D&D. Let's be real. What is this? Showers, I'm guessing? Yeah, showers. Yep, showers there. Have they talked the about other. what they're thinking for, um, that's a big sink, wow. Um, have they talked about what they're gonna do with all these showers? Like, are we gonna be able to clean off or, like, is there like some kind of yeah. buff we're gonna get for having a shower? No, 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 I don't think it's gonna be a, a buff. I, I suspect it's just gonna, you're gonna look quite dirty. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, they, they do, do have some kind of like dirt texture. That they actually already showed off uh, working first iteration of uh, wear and tear on, on ships. So what it would look like if you didn't service your ship for a while, 
Uh, you might have a lot of, you know, wear on the bulkheads and some lights going out and what have you. So I suspect that they'll do something similar for player characters. If you if you, you appear quite disheveled, for example, if you're mm -hmm. not taking showers, you know, you gotta keep gotcha. yourself up. I gotcha. All right, so we've seen crew quarters. Looks like it's got quarters for, what, like eight people in there? Unless uh, you're five, hot bunking. Actually. Five. So you got, uh, you could be, yeah, you could be hot bunking. Um, but there are five in there, which means there are five log off points, uh, which is great for, for running a, because there's like four a nice turret spots, but then you're not even counting like engineering and all the rest of them. So like, yeah, you... uh huh. So then just, uh, beyond that, we're actually at the, uh, medical bay, which is a really important new part of star citizen that allows you to effectively respawn if you've been severely injured or killed. Uh, in the line of duty. Is this, this is uh, where you do it. What is this little space I'm in right now? You are in, actually, the airlock for um, for keeping this space clean in case there's an infectious disease. I mean, if you're bringing back people from the, an exploration, you know, you might you might actually have an issue. Maybe you've encountered a alien strain of some virus. So mm. gotta keep them in here quarantined. Yeah, decontamination contamination exactly. Gotta walk through That's the ship, those, though, before you get to this point. Are. <laughs> True, but they could be they could be on a um so they're adding push pull mechanics into Star Citizen. Uh, yeah. you can push pull big objects. I'm sus I, I suspect very strongly that they're gonna have a like a medical bed that can you could put people on or something like that. So you could probably roll someone in here. Yeah, or have some like stasis pod that you could like yeah, roll in here. That way you're not infecting the entire ship before you get to the medical bay. Exactly. Yeah. So if you wanna set this as your ICU, you don't even have to lay down anymore. You just oh. go to this panel on the wall and uh, select set as preferred ICU. And this will turn it into my spawn point. So it's not just Correct. the medical ships now that can do it. Ah, or medical ship. Well, only some ships have medical bays. So capital ships have them, but subcaps won't. So for example, the Hammerhead's not a capital, it's a Corvette. Uh, or just a gunship if you want to The Hammerhead doesn't have terminology. one. Interesting, it's no, it a larger ship. And then what do we have here? Research and medical supply access. Yep. Boxes of gloves back here. So I think they are thinking that a part of exploration is going to have many games um, to do with that, you know, like discovering different strains, what have you. And it's an interesting idea. I'm not quite sure where they're going to go with it, but I hope, hopefully, they do something cool with it, to kind of yeah. make exploration its own little game if people like that. All right. So we've so seen we'll medical. To, uh, Look forward to having someone be our like medical officer aboard ship. That'll be interesting. Yeah, one of those is actually the uh, doctor's office. So you're, you'll have your own uh, doctor on board. Nice. Walk down here, down this corridor. I like these corridors. Oh yeah, no, for sure. They've they've definitely got a very uh, great vibe to them. So we're gonna step now into the turbo lift. <laughs> Well, this is a big uh, but we did spot. we did skip a deck, so we're gonna we're gonna have to actually gonna go up a deck before we go below a deck. Okay. Oh, there's apparently no oxygen in that elevator, so give me a moment. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Ruthie, and thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome, guys, to the tour of the Carrick. Now that it is a thing. Wait, this is a long time. There we go. All right, so let's go on up to deck three. Okay. Or would you rather first go to deck back to deck one where we started? Because we, we skipped all those decks. We went all the way up to basically deck three. Let's go to deck one. So, let's go deck one go and deck we'll work one, our right? way down. Yeah. Uh, select deck one. Or work our way out. So you can see that I actually selected it there. Yeah, I saw it pop and, up. Uh, now mm -hmm. we're on deck one. Now, one of the cool UI's things working. is about. They, they've really done a good job polishing this before they've released it. So, for example, here are the weapon lockers. Um, they're animated, but they also actually also function. And you got quite a few uh, slots Holy for shit. weapons. Yeah, you do. All right, hang on. Let me, let me pull out one of my guns. No, we're in the safe zone. We can't, we can't pull out a weapon just yet, but I've already oh, tested yeah. it. It does work. Gotcha. I can't actually put it in my hands to put it in the rack, is what you're telling me? Yeah, because we're in and the safe zone These are suit right storage now. right here, so we want, like cold environmental suits or, or heat suits, right? Precisely, yes. So these will be EVA suits, but you just saw me wearing a uniform, right? So you probably don't want to be wearing uh, your EVA suit 
up and down the corridors. I suspect that they're going to add additional benefits to not wearing an EVA suit mm -hmm. on a ship. I, I hope so. Or so, I, there isn't really a reason to ever take one off, because if you get into a fight, right. yeah, you don't want your suit on. So just in the back here, then, we have access to the lower ball turret, which is a more of like a bomber-style turret. So mm, you're I sitting... Saw it walking in, yeah. So you're sitting like... Uh, not, in the turret, so in the ball. Exactly. So it doesn't flip you upside down, actually, like in uh, some other ships. What it does is it hangs you off the bottom, which is actually a pretty cool feeling. Whee! I actually really like it. Wow, you drop it a bit. Yeah, this is cool. All right, I'm cool with this. Now, the, the turrets on this ship are, are pretty exceptionally good, in my opinion. Oh, I, I really man. like what they've done with them. Like, the level of customization I want to be able to do with this. I'm already thinking about swapping out these guns. Oh, no, you can already. I mean, like, oh, the, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, uh, swappable. like swapping out the si ship systems, working on the interior, like working as a group to get this ship set up for how we want it. Oh, man, it's going to be fun. Engineer looking for the best parts for the shield generator, the reactors, weapons officer trying to figure out what weapons work best for the crew. A lot of fun to be had here. So if we step forward here, we're now in from one of the cargo bays. Um... This is actually a detachable pod, as we said, so you can actually see that there's airlocks between each one. That's so that if you detach one of these pods, you can still keep the ship sealed. Right, um, so this is their it, idea of customizing some of the larger systems. This thing is large enough to easily house one of those tanks they had in the old um, artwork for Star Citizen. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure this could fit a ballista quite quite easily, actually. Oh, yeah, ballista, too. Think about that. I mean, think about that thing. This thing's got, what, three of these cargo pods? So you could do vehicle drops if they're going to have the pods for it. Okay, these damn doors hate me. I'll just walk through it. That's fine. Um, I wonder if you'll have, like, refinement pod, you know, for ore, or uh, who knows? Base building they've talked about multiple times. You know, great way to move oh, yeah. bases, remote research outposts, and stuff like that. Alright, so we're back at the rear vehicle bay hangar now. I see where we're at. Uh, so now airlock? Here, or, yeah. This is, a, this is um, so they have talked about already that they are currently working on ship to ship and ship to station docking. That's going to yeah. be something they're going to need for a lot of ships. This is, you know, not the size that you really have to do it, but it's nice to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Once you get up to things like the Idris, the Javel and the Kraken, uh, really, really big ships, it's no longer very practical financially to be landing those things or possible. So the Javelin, that massive capital cruiser, uh, can't actually land an atmosphere. It would fall out of the sky. Well, they talked about it with, um, hell, the Aurora's got the rounded door connection points, but I guess mm -hmm. I thought they cut that out. But maybe they did for just those smaller ships because it really wasn't worth it. Yeah, I think they've, they've, they've definitely had some uh, rethinking on what ships are going to need that. That's why the Aurora has those big round doors originally, was they were supposed to be able to dock, connect to stuff. Yeah, but, and the, but it's kind of silly. The Cutlass, you know, the Cutlass actually originally had one in the bottom as well because it was mm -hmm. going to be like a, a ship that you could use for boarding. I kind of kind of sad that they took that out because i would love to have a bit of some boarding action yeah. with like a, a ship to have a specific ship that can do that yeah so we're back here on the lift we're going to go on up to the technical deck which is actually access to engineering drone bay and repair bay and uh, as well as the two side turrets as well as one of the best features on this ship which is its own personal shuttle bay which can fit uh, the Pisces, which comes with the car. Oh, so but it's not, I gotta Pisces. spawn it. I gotta bring it over. Because I have do. one, right? Because uh, it comes with the pack. So I should have correct. it. Correct. You do You do have one. There is a bit of an issue right now with the uh, with them spawning in PTU. They have got to work that kink out. The issue is uh, because the Pisces came up before the Carrick, so the Pisces was acting as like a substitute when in fact it actually comes with it. So they're trying to sort that out oh, at the moment. Oh, man. Look at the space in here. And if you guys haven't yeah, seen can... the Pisces, it is base. It's like your Star Trek shuttle. It's a box shuttle, but it's a really nice box shuttle. Like, I it really, is. Oh, it's, it's such a cool ship. And the best part of it is that despite its really tiny size, it's about as big as an Argo cargo, it has its own quantum drive. So effectively, yeah, it is a Star Trek shuttle. You've got places uh, placed in there for two other crew members to sit down aside from the... Uh, yeah, it can hold like five cabinet. or six, can't it? What? I mean, you can really pack them in there. Like, you can hold quite a few people in that sucker. Oh, no, you could you could pack it full, but it's got uh, enough space for holding four SCU as well. So in, if you didn't want to put people in there, you could actually just have a bunch of boxes as well. 
All right, let's get out of here. I'm, and I know you guys have already talked about like um, what you can actually put in this hangar bay. Uh, an M50. I'm assuming the wingspan's too much. No, the M50 fits, as Seriously? far as I know. The M50, <laughs> the the Razor fits. Oh man. Uh, Argo fits the Merlin. You can get three the Merlins Argo in fits. here. Really, who's gonna put an Argo in this thing? It's cargo runner. Yeah, but it's an Argo, man. Like, why? Just why? You couldn't even get the cargo up here without like slow boating it with your. Have the crew move the boxes one at a time. It's not the most uh, agile of ships. No. So here we we have the control panel now for the hangar bay, which actually can be operated from the captain's seat in the Ford. Um, Let's open this sucker up. Let's bridge. see it. Oh, look at those big doors. And the light shining in. Pretty game. Now you can see that top turret up there as well. Hello, Podasar. Yep, there's the we'll top turret. I'll we'll have to grab a Pisces or something. Uh, and, I'm going to leave this open. It. I'm going to leave it open. And when we go up there, we can we can look down. I see that there's a... Uh, a window on a deck above us so yep that's the cartography deck we'll be going up there after we conclude our tour here of deck three all right carry on sir what's this what's this door right here so right here is the drone bay uh one of the features of the carrick is that it has deployable drones that can be operated by crew they can do things like repair uh recovery uh they could be uh, observing drones so you can use them for exploration this looks like they some kind of clamps Yep, so that's what's going to hold them. They can hold four drones. And then these little bays right here that look a little bit like uh, Star Trek-esque um, torpedo tubes are where you're going to launch the drones out of the ship. So these are airlocks oh. for those. Okay, so they're loaded up on these top racks, loaded into these torpedo tubes and fired out. Is that what I'm getting? Exactly. And if you've <laughs> ever played EVE Online, I guess the idea is to be something like that. So you've got some, you can defensive oh, drones, repair drones, whatever man. you like, whatever... Your mission is you can this. have a set of drones. I love this. This is so freaking cool. Ah, like salvage work with this thing, or just yeah, exploration, yeah, exa oh, deep, salvage, like deep exactly. scans on planets. You know, before you land, or just or to spread out if you're looking for a particular resource or cave network. Sending your drones out to try to find it before you move the whole ship, or send the ground now, vehicles. See, yeah, man. Oh, it's a workshop. Yep, you're living out on the the edge of space. Uh, you don't have access to port, and you need to repair a module that's gone bad. You bring it in here, drop your avionics module right here on this desk, and go to work. Oh, don't even have to worry like about an, uh, an engineer's little like workspace. Oh, I love exactly. it. Exactly. Because I love speaking, what we've talked about it before. I would love to get the crew together. Right? We get you, me. We get wasted. We get a few other of the guys. You know, we get some of the Armco community guys, and we have assigned like roles for the ship, and do the full on like crew rp run crew in oh the verse. absolutely and that that's i am freaking itching to do that oh, so we're so here fun. we're in we're in the escape pod area would you notice that there are actually six escape pods so apparently they do have it have an idea that they want more than just six crew members on here because there are more than just uh six here these are personal scale right area. if i yeah these are one yeah, person escape one person pods yeah pod. gotcha the 890 introduced uh more uh, like larger ones, like escape life rafts, which are a lot bigger. But uh, this is not that big. It's not a capital ship. It's a sub capital. Mm -hmm. It's nearly a capital ship. Uh, so this is back at the upper bridge, but we're going to actually move back now to engineering before we go up to cartography. Sounds good. Oh, damn doors. The engineer's <laughs> working on those. Behind the doors. It's because I'm like just far enough behind you that they close. When they fix the uh, the character sinking, which you're actually walking around pretty smoothly right now, I'm uh, I'm a little surprised. Um, I'm sure that won't be much of a problem. Oh, look at that! Wait, did we oh, wait, move? No, we're not going up the elevator. Oh, we are rotating. It looks like we're, we're rotating. Moving. Yeah, the station's no longer in view anymore. All right, let's get to stellar cartography. All right, C seven of no, nine. No, we don't have to. We're going to engineering now. We're going actually. to engineering. Where'd you go? Oh, yep. There you go. You teleported. Oh, yep. You're in your. So your just down one of these. Zero suit. Actually, all the, all these doors are labeled. But you can see on the bottom here it says uh, turret access. Down this corridor, you'll have access to the ball turret. When you give that thing a peek, it's pretty nice. Sure. I think you'll be oh, very look at this pleased. Creepy ass tunnel here. Uh, what the large? What is it? The reclaimer, the large salvage ship. Yep, that's the reclaimer. That um. Now that's got some creepy hallways. 
Like that whole ship is straight out of Aliens. And it's like design philosophy. Oh, look at this. This is the most Star Wars freaking turret spot. It is so, and the, the range of motion on this thing is fantastic. What? You can have oh, all four man. turrets on this bad boy. Oh, this is, they've gone direction. with the whole, like, the turrets push out from the ship. So you get this beautiful angle. Yeah, you get huge range of motion on it. Yeah, like I'm way outside the ship. And the reason is so I can be at a better angle to fire. How crazy is that? Let me uh, switch it back to third person so stream can see. Look at that ball turret. Sucks to be that guy when the subsystem goes down and they blow up the turret. And this thing goes flying off into space. I look like a little TIE fighter stuck to the wing. You do. <laughs> it's it does like, have that look, doesn't it? Yeah, like somebody just slapped a TIE fighter to the side. And we're like, all right. All right, let me fold back in here. and Oh, that is so freaking awesome. All right. I'm Hello, back. sir. Uh, right. Shall we continue? Yes, let's door. head aft to our uh, final stop on this deck, which is going to be engineering, which is actually a pretty freaking cool space. If you are into... Star Trek and, and that sort of oh, I can already see the like core back there one of the engine pods or something oh look at this oh I want this to do things it doesn't do anything yet but it needs to do things because look at the engine pods oh so let's go man. let's actually step now into engineering do which these, is a two deck space two deck space back here now do these are these actually the engine pods or are these like twin reactors that line up with the engine no those those do seem to actually be the engines. Uh, believe the reactors down below. All right. I'll they could be reactors. I should, I should actually look. See what they are. I'm giving her all oh, she's got, sound. Captain. Oh, man, I love it. I, I want this place on fire and the engineer running around and smacking things and, you know, squeezing out that extra, like, 20% so we can outrun some ridiculous, like, vandal swarm. Like, come on. This is going to be amazing. All right. Sorry, overhyped right now. What? Where is this? What did you just open? Quantum jump drive. I just opened the ah. jump. Yep. Smaller it's quantum than drive access. Okay. Okay. So when those are physicalized, as you say, once they've got a model, they'll put them in there. We can swap Indeed. them out. Cool beans. Cool beans. I'll follow you down. Going down below deck. There's actually a, a, a more Star Trek-esque lift on the other other side. I just used the ladder instead. So you've got additional. Access down here, you got shield generator access, life support access, important thing that, life support. And then eh. you can also access your uh, fuel tanks. Wait, this panel's been open. Someone's open. been down here. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Oh, and here's the elevator you were talking about, but we're like, no, we're gonna use the turbo. We're gonna use the ladders and whatnot. I love turbo it. Ladder. I love it that there's like, there's multiple decks in here. Um, I mean, I get the separation here, I'm not completely convinced on the separation for the bridge, but I like this a lot. I think this is cool. Back to upper engineering. And let's go up to cartography. Yeah. Stellar cartography. Exactly. On Voyager. Yep. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Yep. I actually was calling it that um, for quite a while now. You don't have to stop. I know what you're talking about. Yep, yep. Stellar cartography. Coming up. Cole, Harry, Kim, and Seven of Nine put this space together for us on our long journey out of uh, the Delta Quadrant. Using Borg tech, indeed. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, uh, now, how does this differ from my normal navigation? Like, have they talked about it, what they're going to do with this? Because this is quite cool. Great question. Great, great question. So, actually... Uh, if you zoom in, it's actually functional right now, which is, I didn't notice that it was functional. Um, it's got a, like a, a placeholder model though around it. Um, so what this is gonna do is actually allow you to see in greater detail the, the system that you're in and allow you to pinpoint uh, areas of interest in the system that you couldn't do with your mobile glass. So this has an active detective system, uh, detection system. Um, and it, it's not just gonna be like, just to the star system you're in. You'll be able to see a series of systems around you. Imagine just a 3D, basically stellar cartography from, yeah. from Voyager, that sort of feeling. Oh, and originally so they cool. had uh, concepted the sidewalls here to actually be a bunch of screens, but then they were kind of trying to scratch their heads and figure out what, what would you show there, so. Yeah, then you gotta make uh, it work and do something, but the whole point is to be looking in the center. Why, 
why have a thousand screens surrounding you? Exactly. Yeah, now, like it does look like uh, there's a low light mode that we're in right now, because if you look at the ceiling, there are actually lights on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So I suspect that in the future, when you activate the hologram, that the lights will dim, um, and this will be better lit. I think that's one of the parts that aren't quite done yet. We don't have the ability to actuate, like, red alert and what have you, but I talked to John Kerr at Sitcom this year, and I asked him about that, and he said that that tech is actually in, but... There's no interface, and they're waiting for that because the building block system is just around the corner. They want to make sure that they, they add that in with uh, all the rest of those those items in Star Citizen. Okay. I'm pushing buttons, don't mind me. This system actually works. Um, to control the ships, like, it's just the normal, hey, you can control uh, your, the shields and the weapon power and all that, but, man, very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm really look. hoping, I'm really hoping that what's going to end up happening is that we get some kind of guild system that works on a fog of war basis and where we've got people and personnel spread around. If they could like transmit to us, that we get to mm -hmm. see those regions on our command stations. So we can be like, all right, the Vanduul has moved a fleet in so and so sector, and five Armco, you know, scout ships are out there and they've sent their data packets in. And now we know exactly where that carrier is. So we can plan our, like, our fights. You know, that kind of um, generating your own story, generating your own missions kind of thing as a community. Yeah, I'm absolutely. really hoping that becomes a thing. Oh, uh, there's the hangar bay. This is like a, oh, okay, all right. It's it's really just a, just a space to watch the shuttle launch. <laughs> well, it's actually, um, it's an EVA patch. So oh, can, is it? Go on this place, yeah. Oh, we can go actually go out there. Oh, look at that. Oh, because if this is shut, we can just walk out on here if we're on planet side. We can land on top of this. Exactly. Oh. You can walk around up here. Yeah. And actually, the reason why the ship's no longer in the same position is because I think it's slightly drifting. Yeah, I would I would say you're right. Seems we've rotated back around. We should be able to see the... Yeah, pulled our stars now above us again. Seems like it's slightly rotating, yeah. Um, Very cool. Man, this thing's pretty... So... Not something that I think the, most people are going to be really interested in, but one that I hope happens with those drones. Camera drones for YouTubers. Yes. You know? Yes, absolutely. Like, I want that so bad so we can actually get some, some, some good shots that we couldn't get otherwise. We don't have in-game, like, cameras. And I want By them the way, to be in-universe. Hold up? down F4. Hold down F4 and use your arrow keys to move your camera a shift to the right of your character. Oh, oh yeah, 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 no, I know. Again. I can move the camera around and I can save presets. I've done it before. Okay. Um, I'm just saying, not having my body floating 10 feet away from the camera and not being able to see it, just actually having a camera drone that works in-universe that I have to go buy and can be destroyed and actually have, like, my own thing. I've, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want that. Like, it's, a, it's a game that fits so perfectly fit for that, like, you can be the news guy uh, on the front line and make these epic stories and then share them. It's, it's just, yeah. We're making a game all about yeah, immersion. It seems, it seems like it really would fit. All right, coming in. Welcome back aboard, Is this Captain? actually a, uh, an airlock or is it just open? Oh, it's just open. It's an airlock. Yeah, it's an airlock. So we've got a second set of doors. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, and a third set with uh, EVA suits, suit lockers, just right here. Suit lockers. And on the other side, there's two suit lockers, so four total. And Where's then this suit? deck also has two oh, additional here. escape pods. Yeah, all yeah. right. Cool, oh, man. There seems to be a leak. We'll Wait. have that. Uh, it, we'll have a tech patch that up uh, when we get back into port. That's not good. I, I doubt that's <laughs> just O2 leaking everywhere. All right, I think we're. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. All right. Captain should know every nut and bolt of his ship, and that one's loose. <laughs> that one's very loose. Let's go to the bridge. Back to the bridge, going to deck two habitation, and we'll move forward all the way to the bridge. What is this? I don't know what that is. It's just like a circular module thing. It's very loud. That doesn't... <laughs> it's, you can hear it like it's rumbling. I have uh, a mic in my accident. Oh, did you hear rumbling? Okay, maybe. No, 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 not, not you. It was the it was that module thing that we were just looking at. It actually rumbles if you listen closely. Oh, it's part of the MRI scanner. All right, that makes sense, yeah. Oh, it's the back of the med bay. That makes yeah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know if you know. It doesn't just let you spawn. It heals you. So if I, like, shoot your leg and it's bleeding, you can actually lay down and it'll heal you. 
goes through like a whole animation thing where it throws you into the MRI scanner and does a bit of a scanny thing and then you're healed. That's how MRI scanners work. All right, head to the brain. Exactly. That's how that. It's exactly how it works. <laughs> See, they, they're, they're, yep. they pay attention maximum, to detail. Maximum version. That's why uh, they get paid the big bucks. So you you want to fly it from up there? You I'm, can fly it from there. No, I'm here. just looking around, man. There's another holographic table here, and I'm kind of curious what this will be. I'm assuming this is going to be like a local area one, where the other one is multiple yeah, star sectors exactly, or, yeah. or some kind of, yeah. Yeah, I'll I think fly it from the up other here. One's, yeah, got, go ahead. It's got control sticks Take up control, there. Captain. All it does, yeah. Right. That's a command, command station. Online. She's got pretty good visibility for a ship of her size. It's Be got careful, windows she, everywhere. She's a big ship. She's a big ship, so she's she she speeds up fast. She's got big engines, but uh, she's not going to turn like a fighter. Whoa! And, uh, you said that as soon as it started randomly rotating. What in the world? That it wasn't weird. mainstream. It just did that. Wow! Look at this thing. I want to see it in uh, quantum travel mode. I'll take us somewhere else. Find a, a selected destination and take us away. Landing gear deployed. Playing with landing gear right now. All right. Let's go somewhere. Landing gear raised. Come on. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I mean, this totally reminds me of back in the day, uh, having my Sarab, uh, Sarasub uh, luxury cruiser and decking that thing out. Can't wait to do the same thing here. Yeah, man, I want to customize this and make it like have, you know, have each crew member have his own geared equipment on board and be able to shoot for some crazy place across the across the stars to explore. Like, how, how nuts will that be? It's definitely beefier than I remember the original artwork being. Like, they, they must have had to fatten it out quite a bit to shove all the stuff in here that they wanted and keep it around the same scale. Yeah, so I guess what the issue was is that they um, they wanted to fit a bunch of stuff in there and because, you know, the requirements and what they promised, uh, but they had a really hard requirement for width, length, and height. And so they could they had this this design this design that was a bit elongated, but they couldn't do that in reality because it wouldn't have fit in any of the hangars. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. And if you fly it in, and I discovered this, you've got maybe a, a meter or less on either side when you're going into some hangars. So you gotta be pretty skilled piloting this thing and parking it on an interior hangar. So yeah. yeah, I think I get it. So take us down to uh, the, the the day side of the of Daymar and give us a quick fly around. It's a beautiful place to fly close to close well, to the ground. Actually, I'm having trouble actually locking onto the locations on the surface. Oh, the you don't have to do that. You just look look in uh, first person and, and I just got oh, kicked off the server. <sighs> oh, crashed. that's a thing that just happened. Hi, stream. How's it going, everybody? Bad token. Yeah, it was a full server crash on their end. Let me give it a second. Yeah. Yeah, Could be. Bad token it's Monday. They're doing the server update because it's time to patch this week. I'm guessing they're going to do a patch today on Star Citizen. They're set to release the Carrick to the full PU by the end of the week, uh, which means they've got a bunch of issues they're going to have to patch up quick before they do that. Mm -hmm. And get their uh, butts back on to 3.9. Or 4.0, actually. I think this team's the one that's working on 4.0 because they, they, they're they now doing staggered development. So one team's working on... Um, so they're working now in six-month intervals, in, in essence, but just staggered. Yeah. So uh, am I gonna have to respawn the Karen? Yes, you right. probably will. I, I don't. What I'll probably server. say is, why don't you spawn the Carrick and I can bring in the uh, the shuttlecraft? I know you've got oh, one it's too. Back up again. Is it back up again? Yep, I'll join on the U.S. server and uh, join up on me. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and 
I'll pull my Carrick, and then you pull your Pisces if you've got access to it. If not, find a ship of similar size and park it on Hopefully in. it's there, because I'd really like to bring that in, because it just it's, it goes so well with it. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. It is perfect. Having a shuttlecraft, I cannot do missions. Yeah. Now we need missions this to is, do. <laughs> we need proper missions now. I want to do, I want to send away teams down. I want to be, exactly. I actually am excited. This is how silly this is. I'm excited to be on the bridge, right? With enough crew aboard this ship to be able to send an away team down and stay on the bridge. And like hear the reports coming in from you guys and being like, we've run into enemy contact or we're bringing back wounded, like whatever happens down there while well, flying support or, or at the very least having the crew fly support while I drink my coffee. See, now this is where we're going to need uh, a, a way to view crew member cameras yes. real time on, on, on the bridge. Remote. That would be freaking awesome. Uh, all right, let me see. How do I join you? Stand system, join friend, and then ba -da -ba -da. there we go. Yeah, Squadron 42, I'm looking forward to it, but not nearly as excited for the actual server, for the actual persistent universe. Yeah. I I think I'm, I'm I'm excited more for what it brings to Star Citizen than I am maybe for the story itself. But I think that'll change. I mean, I I couldn't like why would any of us really have any investment in the story and the lore without ever having seen a story in in this universe. So, uh, what I'm really hoping for, I guess, is for them to really sell me on Uh-oh. Was that you floating was... there? No, I just tried to pull the ship and it says I couldn't access the ship at this time. I'll, oh, pull, I'll try to pull mine. You're gonna have to reclaim it. It takes 10 minutes to on the rec on the reclaim. Seriously? On a crash? That wasn't even my fault! <laughs> uh, Hold on, now it says it's being delivered. Hold on. Okay, Hold on. okay. Might just be if uh, everyone's pulling chips right now. I think it's the server's going like, ah, no, don't do that. The server just went back up again, so everyone. I do new. not see the shuttle in here. Freelancer Merlin, Blade, Terrapin. No, oh, that's not working. Yeah, Terrapin. I think the Terrapin. server's not happy. Why do I have the Terrapin? Well, that's weird. Yeah, why do you have the Terrapin? Yeah, I uh, said I melted that down to get the Karak. That's how I got the Karak. Uh, go ahead and uh, claim your Carrick and then... Does everybody service. have access to the Carrick right now? No, only people who purchased that Carrick have access to the Carrick. Okay. Weird. Oh, we're actually on the same strap. What'd you I say? You. Pull the Carrick? Uh, no. Uh, claim the Carrick. Oh, right. Claim it, because it's going to take 10 minutes. You have 20 billion A UEC. And expedite it. Alright then, uh, I guess the only thing that I have that would fit is the Merlin or the M50, which... There it is. Oh, that's the Razor. My M50's not here either. Yeah, it's not letting me pull mine. I'm not sure what happened. I left it on the pad. I'm wondering if the server thinks it's gone or something. We might have to wait for you to have yours come back again. Right, Cheers. right, right, right. Okay. That was stupid, though. Yeah, a bit there. A bit. Has expedited. Wait, expedited again? What? Uh, no, we can't. I was like, can I throw more money? More of the UEC monies at it and make it come back faster? But no. Oh, I wish. I wish. So... In the meantime, I guess you could buy other ship weapons for it. I don't know. <laughs> Bum around for a second uh, here. Got to wait just a little bit for it to come back. There it goes. I was going to say, I lost control of my character. I'll keep trying to pull it in the meantime, see if it'll yeah. finally work right. A little sad my shuttle's not in there. Me too. I'm going to go I'm buy a gun. Pisces. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Yeah, you might want to buy one of those. You guys will check out the uniforms and uh, Smart see, see if you spot anything that 
you know makes it feel like uh, that that'd be that'd be a cool a cool uniform for the crew over here in Kasaba. Hey, back again, I see. Welcome. Indeed. They got some uh, Star Trek esque stuff in here. Though actually, I kind of really like the UEE Navy stuff. I really hope we can buy those at some point, something like it. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope they don't keep that all NPC stuff. That'd just be silly. Mm -hmm. Or at least Smart like a buy. freelancer type of uh, uniform set that you can buy. Maybe for like your outfit or your crew, you know, mm -hmm. have your your own special um, Captain Shack Carrick flight crew uniform. Oh, yeah. Or just proper like, hey, you know, you've joined Armco. Here's the here's the standard welcome package. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. We used to do that in galaxies. Wear it if you want. Here's the gear. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a cool helmet. The uh, the blue one with the the Centurion helmet. Swapping out my gear right now. Yeah, Coming it's freaking starter right. gear. Snow. My carrot's mode. Have to reclaim it at some point. So are you excited to go to jail in 3.9? <laughs> That's going to be a thing. Phrasing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, th it's, I think it's going to be a neat mechanic. I uh, I always liked law systems. Dark Ages whole jail trial system was always something that brought a lot of fun drama to the community. So breaking so people out of prison and stuff should be pretty interesting. Quick question for you then on that. Did that, was it effective at all in, in reducing trolling or did it have no effect whatsoever? Um, no, I think it just gave trolling context. No, oh, interesting, okay. Yeah, it gave it in-universe context, which was which is something you don't really think about. Like, you're a criminal. The game tells you now this is illegal and it makes you a criminal. It's not just you being a jerk. Um, and so you'd get, like, time in jail. So, yeah, I mean, it. it I don't think it was ever designed to really do that. It was more just to add a, another element of like, hey, there is there is some kind of mechanic that tells you that this is an illegal activity. Now, if they do like, you're really stuck in that in that prison because you were a jerk because you did a bunch of um, trolling. I'm I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely cool with that. You're sitting there blowing I'm up like ships at like a spawn point or something, but. I mean, most of the things where people troll you, if they can really like ruin your gameplay experience, is probably up to the devs to try to, you know, build the game around the idea that one person can't do that. Like killing people at Port Alasar when they're spawning in the ships. I think that they're trying to, from what I've seen from the way they've explained their ideal system, it does seem like it would discourage that type of behavior considering the huge downsides to it. Mm-hmm. But it would make that sort of behavior all the more interesting when it does occur. You know, the notor notoriety of somebody doing that and getting away with it will create uh, a bit of its own in-game lore. You know, like famous criminals that you will run across in the verse that you're going to want to hunt down as a bounty hunter. Yeah, I mean, if you could wrap in, you know, player's behavior. Did you just crash again? No. Nope. Um, if you could wrap in, like, the those kind of illegal, the illegal behaviors into into wrapping it into more of an immersive experience for everybody involved. Hell yeah. I'm down. And being able to like break people out of prison and yeah, having the whole bounty hunter system tied into it. Totally down with that. Any luck spawn it? No, it's just giving me the same problem over and over again. Do you even have your shuttle as an option? No. No, I don't have the shuttle. I don't think anybody does. Oh, okay. Unless you bought it individually. Yeah, I am. I know, I've seen I've seen him flying around and I think that's because people, some people actually bought it straight up. How's your uh, timer? Oh, it is at three minutes, three seconds. Brah. Mm hmm. A reminder that vehicles that are intended on launch platforms can be returned to storage. Give me that. Mm -hmm. Give me that hot carrot. Now. Give it to me. Nope. I have another three minutes. You get nothing. 
Uh, you're going to so pull a ship that'll fit in the thing, too, when we fit. Yeah. I'm trying to think of which uh, ship I should do. I've got... Uh... I just wish I had the Pisces. If I don't have a ship that's really a shuttle, I do have, I do have two, for some reason, um, of those... MPV, uh, MPUV cargoes, uh, which does fit. Could land that in there, but it's not the most exciting of ships. Um, which one got the razor Argos? Yeah. Let's yeah. bring an Argo in. Bring an Argo, Argo. Yeah. Uh, and the, Ar the Aurora's actually do fit as well. What? You can put yeah, an I mean, Aurora in there. That's adorable. It fits. It fits. Yeah. And actually that's not a bad idea because you know it's not it's the, super the strongest yeah. of ships right but it, you know you could upgrade it and get the ln version that's got missiles and could be a nice little uh support ship to, mm -hmm. to to keep with you and if you know if you're not taking the pisces with you uh could be a good alternative yeah absolutely thing, like the things that you can do with an aurora open the hatch and start firing missiles and then close it because that's all absolutely. Aurora's good for well, the other thing that's really good about it, actually, <laughs> come to think of it, uh, is that Ford, that Ford cargo bay, actually like, can fit a bunch like of Merlins built as well. Built by Ford? What do you mean? No, Ford cargo bay. The oh, uh, right, the cargo bay in the front of the yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. The ground vehicle you could, one. You could, you could snugly fit a, a, a few Merlins in there without any issue. So you could have three Merlins up top, three Merlins in the fort, probably four Merlins on the bottom. I really want you to own a carrier. sword with that suit. <laughs> yeah. You look just like Zero from Borderlands. It's got that kind of like ninja like, you look to. Yeah, you really do. Like, you'd need a ninja people. What do you think of this armor? Oh, I do have a knife. Where's my ghost knife? Got that knife from Sitcon. A little mini carrier. Could you launch the. I guess the bay's big enough. Yeah, you could do it. You oh, could no, do you, the, with you the ramp. Yeah. Because that ramp is huge. Makes me want to build something like the Carrick in Space Engineer. Like I love making small ships gone wild in that game. <laughs> yeah. For that we are greed. I enjoy it as well. Look at my magazines, they're massive. Clipping into each other. Oh, it's not giving me my uh It's not giving me my knife. I guess it's not in the PTU. Oh ah. my ghost knife's not here. The knifing for you. Hello there. All right, let me see. Let's see if we're at three Strangeness minutes. Strangeness is happening. We've been waiting for days. Uh, twenty in, seconds. Uh, in the wait. All right, I'm gonna pull my Argo cargo. Argo cargo. And I will try to pull a can. Uh, Carrick. See what happens. Man, making you wait ten minutes because the servers crashed is kind of balls. It is. And by kinda, I mean really like. Crap, crap, tastic. So next, next level of persistence that they're they gotta get sorted out is um uh, an external server that logs server information for persistence. So say for example, the server crashes, goes back back up again. That goes that persistence is uh, like okay, remembers that you were there at that time and that your ship was there. Okay, you log back on ship, the server crashed, or you go on to a different server, it's there, still there. Yeah, that would be so, nice. We're Q4, by the way. Q4. To traffic, we ask all pilots Can I leave? Will it just spawn it, even when I'm not here? Yeah. Can I, okay, so I'm coming out to the Argo. Which uh, which which bay are you in? I am um, up on. Let's see. I'm on I'm on pad two. Do you want to hop uh, hop in with me? Hop yeah. in the back. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to sit here for yep. four people on the queue waiting around, staring at the hologram. Well, there is one jump seat in the back. If you'd like to grab a seat. Oh, the Arco makes such a cute noise. Shields charging. But yeah, man, you should. Uh, if you'd like to see what they've been spending all that money on, definitely watch that Digital Foundry video. Episode two is particularly interesting. Yeah. They yeah, discuss, you were saying uh, it's really clear on what they talk about. Yeah, he discusses like sign distance fields, which sounds like a very obscure term, but what it's doing is uh, allowing for things like um, awesome. sheeting rain on a windscreen that responds to ship motion and direction. So if you change direction, it like swirl on the windscreen. 
Um, it, uh, they demonstrated how assigned distance fields around ships can actually uh, effectively make it create wakes in nebula or an atmosphere. Oh, look at this thing. And they real time. It's yeah. pretty freaking insane. Pretty epic. So this is the atmospheric cargo lifter. All of our landing areas are currently I actually haven't been in this yep. one yet. Please hold for assignment. Looks like I can just walk through here. Nice. So oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's just a little cargo pilot back here. Or so or get... this is your 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 um uh oh man, what was the drop ships? Uh, you know what movie I'm talking about. Drop ships for days. Damn, uh -huh. Why uh, uh Clindathu. Come on, you know the movie I'm talking about. I'm in, by the way. Oh, I can't go. Have I can't go third person. You have one in the seat. You can. Oh, look out the side door. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Starship Troopers. Thank you, stream. Man. Ah. Starship Troopers. You said with the alien bug things, then I'll, I would I would have known what you were talking about. Yep. 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 No, Starship Troopers. It looks it's those box traps or drop ships. Made me think about it. What in the world is the station trying to kill right now? Because it finally hit it. Man, their accuracy is kind of crap. The ship isn't even moving. Whoop. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'm not looking out that window right anymore. Now. It's fine. <laughs> I had my side my, my side uh, doors open in the front. It was a little dis uh, disconcerting. So, let's close those out. Yep. Your uh, your ship should be spawning. What just happened? Did you just get ejected? No, I opened a door. I'm in the oh, back. You desynced. You desynced. Uh, we're Did on fourth in the queue, so we've got some time. All you right. Just take us around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you see an icon for a Carrick anywhere or no? No. Sorry. Right, he keeps telling me. He keeps telling me. I'm sorry. There's no space for you. So I'll let you know when he spawns it. He he's quite clear when he's repeating calls that the ship isn't there yet. Because this is the pad right here where it's supposed to spawn. <laughs> and it's clear. Yeah, it's clear on my screen. I don't know if we're desynced and there's a ship there, but I don't see a ship. see a lot of space stations. Very pretty space station. Space station is huge on the outside. Very tiny on the inside. Hey! They killed it. Look at that. Pretty explosions. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a random carrot floating up there. I suppose we can float around that thing till yours spawns. Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> God damn it, space engineers. Space engineers, excuse me, star citizen. Uh, you are so pretty. You hold so much potential. And I find myself just, I, I want it to be done now. <laughs> I just, I want to play so bad. You and me both. You and me both. But you're just not there. You're just not every time. You're just so close, but you're not there. Let me give you a nice view here. All right, there we go. All right, I'm on your, I'm on your starboard side. Yeah, look at that thing, man. I love those engine bays in the back. Are they cool? Yeah, it really does look like they line up. They line up with those big engine pods in the inside. I don't envy the task that it went into figuring out how to fit everything they said the ship was going to have into it. I mean, just the, oh, the hangar bays not. and the carry, like the, the hangar bay and the and the forward um, ground vehicle bay must have eaten so much space. And they were like, oh, let's have three modular cargo containers right in the middle. I managed to pull it off. Right. Oh, you can see the little window there. Isn't that the, uh, what is that? The captain's cabin quarter? It's no, it's probably no. one of the uh... mess hall mess hall or the or the rec room yeah you know what i think we should do shack uh, hmm. i think we should go to a different pad and, and you try pulling it there because this has been am i gonna have to long. recover it again no 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 if it's not been pulled out yet at all sorry you should be able to just be fine and pull it out all right 
Let's do it. In fact, that actually could be why I have not been able to pull mine out. It's because of uh, some weird issue with it, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna get close and then uh, I'll let you down. Get ready to jump out. Jump out. Yep. Oh, I can't open it there. That's... Oh, there's actually a button. Go, go, go! go. It. It's an ugly planet. A bug planet. Alright. Serve now for citizenship. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm inside. <laughs> I'm on the inside. I'm going to spawn the thing. I have to retrieve it again. No, retrieve, not claim, did. not claim. Yeah. Would you like to know more? <laughs> would you, I would. <laughs> Retrieving. Uh, D double O. It spawned. We got a Carrick. Woohoo! All right, you wanna, I'll give you a ride over there. Come out the same way you came in. Yep, already here. All right. Man, I already, I, I'm already in the airlock. You can't hold on. I can't wait. I gotta get there now. My excitement knows no bounds. Oh, doing its jig again. Is there any other ways into the ship other than the forward uh, ramp? Nope. All right, I'm gonna head to the uh, top deck and open it up for you, so you can come in. Sounds good to me. Man, this thing is stupidly large. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Oh, there's the spot. Run away! Whoa. I wonder if the Argo cargo fits in the front. I'm, I'm gonna see if that is a thing. I won't, I won't blow us up. Just, yeah, you say that. Curious. There's no way that's gonna fit in here. Uh, you never know till you try. You never know. Pretty sure there's called measuring, right? And and we could even eyeball it. Measurements. Your we could measurements. Even, we could even eyeball it before we just try to shove it in there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Square peg, square hole, all right? I'm going to take I off remember. first so it's not jittering all over the place. All right, you take off first. Let's not try that. <laughs> no, I mean, even if it does fit, it's probably not going to when you're doing that. Um, to be fair, I don't actually know where the... Uh, we're just going to run through the ship. It's fine. And we're going to clip right through all these doors. Um, it looks like a door. All elevator. There we go. Oh, yes, right. I probably shouldn't be saying that. Clients will be like, I'm not so sure I want you to build my next building if you don't believe in measurements. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, oh, I was going to take off. That's What's um, technical deck, I'm assuming, is bridge? Uh, technical deck or, or habitation. Either one will take you on oh, right. the correct deck for getting... Right, right, right. Keep moving forward. Let's get off no, the pad. Engineering. Oh, yep. All right. Nope. I know where I'm at. This is fine. If you don't know, the engines are at the rear of the ship. <sighs> <laughs> Your face is hey at man, the rear all, of the ship. We all get confused sometimes. Don't you mm -hmm. just shush. All right. I am. I've only been on the ship once. You just. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about that. It is fine. E even though it's kind of like doing the jig, it, it'll be fine. No, Just, uh, it, was, it was doing some... No, what the hell? What? Can I not turn this thing on from here? Up, up into the... Left. Yeah, you can. All right, there we go. Uh, no, no, up into the left on the panel. Yeah, it's like no, ready. No, 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 because you hit power on, so now you have to turn the engines on individually. I would love to do that. But it doesn't seem Your to be. Your engines any. are still off. To so mm. the right. Right side. Right side. Upper right hand corner of the panel. Should be there. 
No, I thought it was. You were full of lies. Broken all right, I'm just, he's broken all. Right. We'll Power just go off. straight to flight ready, since the engine button doesn't seem to be working right now. All systems there you go. Engines are on. Okay. Go ahead and give it a boost in spacebar up. There you go. There you go. I am going to dock this thing into that cargo bay of your ship. Thank you. I know. Controls. Gotta go up. Give <laughs> a dock. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. All right, heading over to. Are you really gonna try to dock this thing in the? No, no, I'll, I'll talk it in the top. By the way, you're still floating above the pad. You probably want to move forward. Okay. You're Why are there fine if you know. sparks flying off the roof now? Who maintains this ship? All right. The crew was a little drunk last time they were doing uh, Flare dry dock yeah. uh, fixes and stuff. So, by the way, your landing gear is still down too, Mister. I... I'm an expert pilot, and I never crash ever. 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 Never crash in this. You are going very fast. I don't think I can catch you. Actually. I don't think you can catch me either, because I'm too quick for you. Landing gear Because I'm Our fast. Cargo is not known for speed. Or for anything good, for that matter. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Well, who's going fast now, pal? <laughs> You stopped quick, too. Wow. All right. I turned around. Got some big engines on this thing. Heading to the shuttle bay. I'll meet you there. Should be on the right. Do you remember where it is? Yes. Should be just straight back. I know where it is. I'm already here. Where are you? Prepare to receive me. Coming in. Mm -hmm. Raising. Safety hazard. Thank you for the 300 bits, man. Greetings, Captain. I'm a member of Armco Space Security Bureau. We have received a call about well-known crash pilot taking control of an FTL-capable ship, thus endangering every living being in the galaxy. You would not happen to know anything about said pilot, would you? Hope you have fun with those ships. Do look sexy. Indeed, same. And I don't know what you're talking about, all right? What are you doing up there? You gonna land or what? Hey, don't land yet. Lining the ship? Why not? All right, you can land now. You wanna come out? Nope. Cargo, cargo. Some weird engine noises coming out of this place. Oh, that thing's gonna fit in here, no problem. You need to come forward a little bit. Might even want to put your gear down. Well, gear's down. Oh, they're so stubby. Uh, I thought the gear was done. I guess it's not. VTOL mode is oh, on, that's why. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Now you got gear. I was going to say, those are the oh, gear. God. They're so adorably small. Well, it's down. Wanna, it's not really straight. Let me. We'll, we'll buff those um, giant gouges in the deck lighting oh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. There we go. I just thought, I want to move a little forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, Into straight. the bridge. All the crafty socket, and here he is crashing into my brand new ship repeatedly. All right, good enough. There we go. I'm down. You're, you made it. I'm shutting it up. I'm buttoning it up. Button it up. I'm stepping off. Those giant bay doors make me so happy. I like the caution lights on this. Oh, okay, oh, so oh. It kind of fits. Interesting. <laughs> it kind of fits. <laughs> it fits Apparently without the gear down. Well, it's technically still in. Just. Yeah. Just a little. We'll ignore that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. It's cool. <laughs> hey, you're the one damaging the interior of your ship here, sir. I've never used this thing. Stay still. <laughs> Come here. Stay still. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you got me. Oh. And I dropped my golden gun. Oh. Oh, more. You've not a. I don't think I set my ICU for the ship. Oh, no. No, I didn't. I'll take this. You've got my golden gun. I have your. Why do you have a golden you? gun? What is this thing? Oh, it's this chargey uh, sniper rifle. Or is it a shotgun? Oh, this is a sniper rifle, isn't it? No, it's a sniper rifle. Bam. You freaking killed me. You killed me. How dare you? Maybe only a little bit. Dare you. All right. I think that's going to be it for me for Star Citizen. I do plan on probably doing another stream a little bit later today. But thank you for giving me the tour, man. Absolutely um, no problem, man. I'm glad we could hop in and, and have a little bit of fun. We'll have to get a crew together and do some missions later. Yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Uh, all right, everybody. If you don't know who that voice is, that's Mr. Morphologist. He does lots of these Star Citizen videos now over on the YouTube side of things. So if you're interested in more Star Citizen content, head over to YouTube something, 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 Morphologist. Just look up Morphologist <laughs> and Star Citizen. You'll find it. It's a thing. Yes, it's a, it is a thing. Oh, I like this weapon of yours. Oh, cool, it, it charges. Look at the beam. Oh, my God. It's got a really cool. Not as cool as this, though. Oh, yeah, like, like the effect. Oh, except for. You know the sniper rifle? casually drop my sniper rifle? Yeah, it's kind of crap. How, how dare you? <laughs> it's kind of crap. Uh, the only disappointing thing about the um, the ballistic version is that it sounds like a pea shooter. No, does it? Oh, yeah, it yeah, sounds like I'm throwing a toaster at a wall. I think that's what it sounds like. Pink. Pink. I think that's really disappointing. Looks cool, though. I mean, this thing should sound like a freaking Barrett going off the size of a magazine. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I feel like they've got they've not gotten the audio side of things down too well for weapons, like the echo and atmosphere and, and stuff to make it sound a little bit more epic. Yeah. I do like the animations when you're near walls with weapons. You like hold them up, and then when you come around a corner, you you like layer them, lay them down, and you can lean around. The animation here is oh, yeah, pretty good. Total tacticalness. So do I get to keep your Argo now? Is that how that works? We have persistence. I guess that's how it works. You <laughs> steal my gun, you steal my Argo cargo. You wanted now, sir. Uh, steal your gun, more like toss it out in airlock. It's disappeared. <laughs> it's disappeared. It's fallen out no. the ship. My little robots apparently to clean my ship have done some things. Nice. Do the escape pods work? They do not. Ah, I want to do escape. There is no escape from your mistakes. You must go Ain't down with the ship. the like, truth. Like a captain. Can I dive off this? You can, I think. I've never tried. I'm sure you can. Mm, not so much. You, you, you <gasps> try hard enough. Hey, I made it. Good job. <gasps> Wait a minute. I can't use my gun here. Nope. But I shot You're you earlier. Inside. You were just inside the safe zone. I'm guess you probably no have to way. Move are, you, are you telling me half that half the ship's in safe zone? Yeah, half is is half the ship in the safe? Are we, do we really park it there? Oh, hang on, we gotta walk around. We gotta go to the, where I shot you. Walking, walking, walking. You're about where you shot me. Yeah, this is where I shot you. I can't fire my gun. Okay, well that might be a bug with the pistol. Oh, yeah, it's just the pistol. All right, of course, it's just a bug. It's just a bug, everybody. All right, everyone, thank you for hanging out. It was super fun. I'll be over on the Discord for a bit, and then I'll probably stream later this afternoon. Morph? Yep. Have a wonderful evening. I know it's late your time. It is, but it was uh, my pleasure to show you around. You I take it easy, that. man. Later, everybody.